What's it gonna take, Papa Meeks? Huh? The motherfucking. Uh oh. Um. What's it gonna take to not choke a close game? What happened to What happened to season one, Papa Meeks? Who won all of the close games? He's yeah. dead. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's in the air. I don't know what's in the water. I don't know if it's all the black tar heroin. I, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't even get a James Robinson touchdown last game. Bro. I have no excuse. My team's pretty good. It's an 89 overall. I will say this would have been really good like a month ago. We are dealing with some 94, 95 overall teams, but it's close and overall. We're playing good football. We're literally just selling. I sold last game. I went up against probably one of the best teams I've ever played and on multiple occasions just sold. I should have picked better plays. I should have played smarter and I didn't. So when I said at the start of two episodes ago that the redemption tour begins, we've hit a little bit of a road bump. The redemption tour started out hot. We were cruising along. Choo -choo. Hit a road bump. Here's what's happening today, okay? I'm, I'm placing my own prop bet, my own Vegas rules. So you can get in on the action. The over-under of today's game is going to be set at 52. You can bet over or you can bet under. On top of that, I have James Robinson, two plus touchdowns. This is my gambling addiction coming to fruition. Over-under 52, James Robinson, over two touchdowns. That is what I predict will be happening today. An 89 overall squad, we're two and one. And I promised you boys a playoff push near Christmas. And I'm not gonna go down swing. I'm not gonna let that not ha ha uh, English. I'm not gonna not let that. <laughs> I'm done talking. I'm having a stroke. I'm having a stroke on camera. I'm spinning my wheel. Vita Sky, come back to me! I would take a left guard. I would take a left tackle. I would take a middle linebacker. Uh, Alright boys, we got a hundred college teams on here. This is old college rankings. Don't worry. Oh, top ten team. Oh my god, I'm getting so lucky! Clemson! Oh my god, we're gonna get a stud. We're gonna get an absolute stud. Okay, I'm obviously not getting Trevor Lawrence. We can get DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, I don't really need a wide receiver. Clemson, dude, there's so many. Isaiah Simmons. That's probably the move, bro. Deshaun Watson? Mike Williams, too? I think Isaiah Simmons is the move here. I get that second middle linebacker. Holy shit, dude. We could have gotten clapped. If this went five more, would have been Hawaii, Air Force, Navy, NC State. I guess I can't really laugh because I never looked at the player pool, but it would be significantly more shallow than uh, overlooking I hear with Isaiah Simmons. So I here he's a very good user too. Middle linebacker Isaiah Simmons. 90 overall. He's gonna look very nice next to Devin White. All right, an awesome start to this episode. Our second wheel spin. Hopefully a guard or a left tackle. But I don't know. Flashbacks pack? Do they have a guard or left tackle? I assume flashbacks are kind of just skill players though. So I don't know. We could get a better wide receiver, better than AJ Green. Would be nice. Uh, maybe a halfback? I don't really know. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. Alrighty! This is a really, that is a horrible omen. Oh, I can't believe that just happened. Oh! The challenge wheel and then a dub. If you can't tell, I'm antsy. I'm a little upset after last game. I'm antsy to get a dub. Challenge wheel, sauce me up 140 plus QBR, ooh. It's hard, but we've done it before. We've had perfect passer ratings in a lot of games. You gotta throw a lot of deep touchdowns and you can't miss a lot of throws, but very possible. The bowl of us, hey, Jebro Pepper's up there on the top three, love to see it. And he's got Everson Walls, Deion Sanders, and Randy Moss. It's a comparable top three. We both had 95, 94, 94. So right here, realistically, it's probably got 92 or 93 overall team. And I've got an 89. So this is a relatively fair matchup. Mariota, I'm so tempted to scream a blitz right now. Ooh. James Robinson, touchdowns, perfect QB rating, and a dub. That is the perfect episode. I'm blitzing with Simmons. Oh, get there! Fred Warner! He's back on track. Dude, I swear, if Fred Warner has sacks, that's like, that's like how we win games, bro. Oh, no, give me on Lawrence Taylor. Give me on Lawrence Taylor. Yes, I'm in coverage. All right, there's play action. Left side crosser might be there, but he's gonna throw this one, and Ramsey's gonna take it! What a start to the game! Can we return it? Let's go, Ramsey. Ooh, we can't return it. We don't want to. We want a perfect master rating, and we want, uh, and we want James Robinson touchdowns. I'm looking for Damien. Oh, it's not open. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, so there's Darren Wall underneath. And I think that's field goal range. Are they going to say a 52 is doable? The accuracy is what's in question. I think he got it anyway. What a stud. First and 10. Ooh, a little end around. I like it. Oh, I was hoping he'd juke right into my face. You know, we haven't gotten a big hit stick fumble in a long time. We got so many of those at the start of this year. Ooh, a little zone fake jet. Oh no. What the fuck? Who are you kidding? How did he? This is the first game I played in a while where they're not in gun bunch, and I really respect that. Oh, what? Show Taylor! 
Sean Taylor wants MVP so bad. What the fuck? That was insane. Ooh. Big blitz. Okay, yes, sir. Right there. And he's out of bounds. We're one for three for six yards. Second and ten. Just gonna throw a little checky. Robinson underneath. Oh, that's not even Robinson. It's Damian Harris. You think Robert Hunt is wide open? How hysterical would it be if we got this from Robert Hunt? James Robinson. Alright, double. Oh, that is not what you want to do, sir. Did he make the pass? He did. Metcalf has to severely slow down, but we're still in the end zone. And that's how you get a 148 right there. That's how you get a rage quit. I don't know my passer rating. Well, there's very good news. We locked in our players. We get a win. We get a rage quit spin. I can't count that for the challenge, though. I have no idea what that passer rating is. I can confidently say we needed that, boys. We got a spin right here. Uh, and we get to lock in our players. So our Rage Quit Wheel spin is going to land on a training store pack. We've opened a lot of these recently. I'm going to go heavyweights again, and I'm going to hope I can get anybody who's literally, anybody who's not Rob Havenstein. If it's Rob Havenstein, that would be so unlucky. Okay. Here's my question. If I don't see the animation, should I count it? Let's decide right now before we see. I'm gonna not count it. This could have been the best pull, but I don't want to count that shit. That's so lame. Our newest player, it was a right guard. So that would have been pretty good, but I'm gonna play by my own rules that I just made up, which is that that shouldn't count. The, the pack animation is like half the reason they opened this shit. It's so addicting. Tell you, he reels you in. Dude, you better not be having Steve now. Quinton Williams. 92. We get an overall upgrade, but I don't know if we can say we get a team upgrade. I think the right guard might have been better. Either way. No, you know what? That is really good, actually. 92 D tag. I got an 85 in there at best right now. Yeah, which is Calais Campbell. So he'll go there, and then uh, Puna Ford's actually going to come out because Calais Campbell's going to go right here. 89 overall team still, and we're in the same position we were in the first episode. All right, so I'm going to let you guys see like this. We get one player right here. Whatever player this is, they are on the line for this next game. And we are moving ourselves closer to the playoffs. What is that? Team Wheel 20. Oh, I'll let you guys read that again. Team Wheel 2020 record 10K each W. So I spin the Team Wheel and however many wins the team had. Oh, wait, didn't I get the Lions on this last time? Oh, shit. We're about to see. I get 10K per win they had last year. Come on, focus up. Focus up. Saints. Redskins, no. Ravens, yes. What was their 2020 record? Ooh, 11 and 5. Dude, the Steelers were 12 and 4 last year. What the fuck? And the Browns are 11 and 5. The Bengals were 4 and 11. What a crazy flip of this division. Thank you, Ravens, for being good at football. I don't want to do this, but I have to. Fine, I'll get stupid fucking offensive lineman. <clears throat> I want to go the fucking weirdo, dude. Lamas Brown? It literally sounds... Dude, he played for the Lions? It sounds like a fake name. It sounds like his name is Thomas Brown and someone's saying he took out like WMG or LMG Lamas Brown you're shitting me all right Lamas welcome to the team buddy dude you better not get spam blitz off the edge Lamas that takes us to a 90 overall too that's Wamas that's Wamas Brown to you guys takes us up to a 90 all right let's hop in and I will use the same challenge as the last one I didn't get a chance really to complete it so gonna get 140 plus QB rating holy shit he has the Andre suit that just came out well no I didn't they came out a week ago I take it back I smell it. It's been a while, man. The mail ball! Ramsey put his fucking greasy little mitts on that. Could have had it. That is the worst throw you could have thrown. Pitch it. Yes, sir. Oh, wait. That didn't help me at all. Oh, if I just got to run one more. Are we actually back? Do I actually have my mojo back? We're about to find out right here. Clean. Right into J. Robbie. Get it off. No. You suck. No, I didn't see him. I deserve the INT. I didn't see that dude at all. Holy shit. Not until after I already clicked the button and I see him. I thought that was completely butt nope. naked wide open. Play action. That is so unlucky. I was on it with two different people. Let's just march down this field with perfect passes and get that QB rating. Hey, drums, you gotta cut a little harder than that, buddy. Let's get the double team right here. Yep, we get it. Oh, and Damian Harris! Damian Harris is wide open! Not a man in sight! Wait, a little bit! Oh! Damian Harris, you savage. And now we just need a touchdown with James Robinson. That's amazing for the QBR. We don't get the touchdown for the QBR though. Maybe I try and throw this to James Robinson. Let's see if James Robinson can get open. Sketchy. No, you're not in. Let's see if he blitzes again. Come on. Give me the push. 
Let's go, James Robinson! As far as the QB rating is concerned, I did want a passing touchdown there, but we still had a great throw to Damian Harris with so much daylight. Seven to six, great answer after throwing a stupid pick. All right, I got a QB spy. I got a little Lawrence Taylor action here. He throws a deep one! He's going for it from the 41. Ooh, a real punt. Actually, do I believe this? I don't know if I believe this. Yeah, I don't believe it. I don't even think Bajorquez can throw it far enough. The fact that he didn't get sacked is impressive. All right, we're going to stick with this. It was so successful. Let's see if it's still there. Okay, Vince Wilfork just fucking... I got that glitchy pass thing. Do you remember that last guy? Is he gonna quit because of that? He might quit because of that. That is super frustrating. I think he's trying to challenge the play. I don't think he realizes you can't challenge it in the game. I'm sorry, bro. It happened to me though, so now I think it's, I think I'm even in terms of that happening. I'm gonna stick right to it, third and four. He's on a D lineman, so I should be able to throw these easy ones. Oh, I was really scared of that. Why? Yes, easy touchdown, Randy Moss. Let's go. And I can go for two here and try and make this a two possession game. Uh-oh. Just gotta make something happen. How the... Oh my god, what a fucking play. I thought I could stop and go him. All right, let's go for the blitz. No shot. Oh, <laughs> big hit! And he's looking at a uh, fourth and six. Pretty much, I feel like this is the game. I feel like if he doesn't get this, he'll probably rage quit. Left side crosser is definitely there unless we rock him. Oh, play action. Wow, Pitts has been so open. These crossers are just killing me. What the? Why are you stepping up? You had an INT. Ah! 13 to 13. It's going to be a good game. No, God. No, God, please, no. 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 That has never happened to me. I don't think that's happened to me yet this year. Of course it happens here in this close game against the God Squad. Where else would it happen, right guys? And he fucking runs it all the way to the edge. I'm not switching plays. I'm used, it's a user, woo Waller! I was gonna say, it's a user D-lineman, and I just got shit on my kick return. I'm not switching plays. Big blitz! Waller's got it. See, what's funny now is if they would give me a kick return fumble, the score would be where it should be, which is me up by eight, or up by seven. You know, that's not gonna happen, but. No shot! No shot! No fucking shot! <laughs> oh my god! Alright, wait, he's gonna probably use this now, huh? Oh, no, he's actually homeless as fuck. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that in my whole life. Oh my god, it literally, the game hurt me! It literally hurt me! I better be, am I recording? I'm recording. Oh, I've been so worried. Hey, big stop, Quinn and Williams. Look at how hard this dude is trying to cheese. I've never seen somebody try this hard to cheese. He's literally downing himself in the fourth quarter. You are the luckiest motherfucker. This is embarrassing, bro. Woo, we got a fourth and five. That's huge, dude. I was so concerned. If he converts that, I swear to God, I think he could have done it, dude. He could have pulled that shit off. All right, let's see if he tries to user it. He literally still does it. <laughs> he deserved that. That's the only thing I'll do. He deserved that one. Look at the comeback. 16 for 20, 250 yards, three touchdowns, one play. Cross drag. I assume he follows it now. No? Ooh, and we stay in bounds. And that'll chew the clock. We'll run a dive to James Robinson. Are the blocks there? They are! James Robinson's in! Does he have one already? I'm trying to think if he has one. I don't think he does. I guess we'll see at the end of this game. We have been lethal. Oh my God. My mojo's back. I win the close games now. Set your feet, throw it. You boys gotta be so proud of me right now. You gotta be so proud of me right now.
He has two touchdowns. Oh no. James Robinson did have two touchdowns. I saw that right on the stat sheet. So we definitely have two. Hold up. Let me go to a NFL QBR calculator. All right, here we go, boys. I calculated it for 21 attempts, 17 completions, 270 yards, which I don't think he had, and three touchdowns and one interception. It's 138.49. The interception screwed me. It, it wasn't very likely at all. I'm, I'm looking at the calculations right now. Wow, I was. I would have been so fucking close though. Oh my God. Woo! So I don't complete my challenge, but I won the game. That was such a clutch game to win. That gives me reinstilled confidence. That's really what that game does. And two touchdowns for Mr. Robinson. Boom out there at the end. So there's one up to an 88 and two takes me to a 90. All that's left is two more touchdowns for a 92 and then a 95. 90 overall, James Robinson. Huge W, boys. Huge W. All right, I'm not recording any more Wheel Mutts until I see some new content. Four and one. And we are approaching Christmas. I gotta do my playoffs push on Christmas. Christmas, bro. I gotta do it. All right, boys. I love you. See you in the next banger. Let's get this money. Peace.